Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create sign up screen in Flutter. We are not just going to design the Flutter sign up screen, but we will also learn how to define theme for text field. We will define all the design inside our theme. We will get the design from there so we don't have to design again and again for each field. Okay, so in this tutorial, let me just open the application. This is the splash screen with the animation we already created of the splash screen. Welcome screen appears again with an animation. So in the previous tutorial, when we go on the login, you can see we already created the design. But in today's tutorial, when we click on this sign up, this is what we are going to create. And also when we click on this full name or any other field, you can see their border icons and text design is changed. But when we are going to switch it towards the dark mode, inside the dark mode, you can see the whole theme has been changed but the text is clearly visible. So this is what we're going to learn how we can customize the themes in the plateaus. Instead of designing each field separately, we will design the theme and the theme tutorial has already been created. But for this tutorial, we will learn how we can customize and design the text form field theme, which is the input decoration. As you can see, we are creating this playlist, which is a login Flutter application. This application can be used on any type of Flutter application and you can get the code from codingwitht.com, which the link is in the description. And also you can get the playlist link in which we already created all these videos. So you can also get the link from the description below. So in today's tutorial, we are just going to cover the design and the back end, which is related to the Firebase will be started after this design portion, which is about to an end. So without wasting time, let's get started. Open Android Studio and in here you can see we first have to go to assets inside the images we have to declare the image and we are using this welcome image if you are following the tutorials you know that inside our previous tutorial which is the login tutorial we use the same image so we don't have to declare it also go to the lib folder and also if you are not familiar with this folder structure we already covered it as well so go to constants inside this image strings you can see we already defined the welcome screen image and also this google logo image for the button nothing new in the sizes but in the text strings and here you can see you have declared sign up screen text which is title subtitle and already have an account you can get all these declarations and assets uh, right from the description below and you can also get the complete code from coding with t okay just close it go to features where we have actually created our authentication feature and inside the screens we are going to create this sign up in the sign up dot it's a simple stateless widget okay now let's start coding inside the scaffold as a body we will create single child scroll view to make our screen scrollable as a child we will create container and inside the container as a padding we will use the default padding we are already created this padding in the constant sizes, which is 30.0. So we'll keep the same inside the whole application. Then as a child, we will create a column as a children of column. If you remember the login design, we will again going to divide the sign up screen the same way we divided the login screen into three parts. The first one is the header. Then we have a form and then we have a footer. So let me just quickly show you if you're new here, you can see we have a single child view, which is scrollable. And also we have to make it a safe area then container with the same padding and as a column we have header widget login form and login footer widget basically when we go to this login header widget you can see we have a column with the orientation at the start one image and two text right so instead of creating again the same code which is not going to be reusable so to make this code reusable inside the login widgets you can see we have login header name so we can change this name and extract it into common widgets so it can be reusable for both login and sign up okay inside the common widgets i have created a folder with a name form and inside i have created a dart file which is form header widget and i pasted the same code which is the login header widget and i have named it form header widget so this form header widget can be used on login, sign up, forget password and bunch of other screens that are using the same header. Okay, and here if you notice that we need to pass image name, title and subtitle name. The rest of the things are same. So we will first get the image name. Okay, you created a string which is image, title and subtitle. Press Ctrl Alt L. Now to get this from the user inside this constructor, we will create required this dot image, title and subtitle. We will pass all the three values from where we are going to use this form header widget. And let me just replace this with image, remove this constant, title and subtitle. Control Alt L to align the code. So you can see we have a simple column. 
one image and two text and the design or the theme that we want to use is applied with the same height with the image height has already been defined but let's say if you want to change the height for some screen so you can also get this height from where you are calling this widget the same way we are using this string right let's just remove the unused imports our widget is ready let's go to sign up screen in here let's call our form header widget alt enter import the library and if you hover over it you can see we have a required attribute which is image subtitle and title so as an image we will pass t welcome screen image as a title we have sign up title and as a subtitle we have t sign up subtitle okay, now first let's try to run the application if you're confused in this i will drop the same code inside the coding with t so don't get confused you can get the code from there and simply use that code instead of this widget if you don't want to use this Okay, so our application is running. This is the splash screen that we created in our previous tutorials. And then this is the welcome screen with the animation. Okay, let's click on the sign up screen and you can see we have one image and two text. And also at the top, we have to wrap the scaffold widget with the safe area. Let's save it. And you can see this top is now not being used. Okay, so the header is ready. Now we have to create a form. For the form, let's wrap this in the container. Container will have padding. Padding will be from the top and bottom. So we will use symmetric and vertical T form height. T form height is again a variable which has a 30 height. So we will use 30 minus 10 at a constant. Now as a child, we will create a form. Inside this form, we will create list of elements. So we will use column as a list of elements. And to make all the elements go to the left side, we will use cross axis alignment because column is in the vertical direction which is its pn axis so we are dealing with the horizontal alignment so we will call it as cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start now all the elements will start from the left side as a children of column we will add text form field inside the text form field let's call it let's add a decoration property and we will we will use input decoration inside this we have a label label is full name so as a label text we will use t full name we have already declared let's save the code okay so in here you can see our text field is created label is a full name and in here we can write anything next to the label let's add a prefix icon let's save it and you can see the icon has been created now to make the shape to cover the outline as a border property we will use outline input border okay you can see the outline input border has been applied now you can see that everything is blue inside this label is blue icon is blue and also the border is blue so that's we don't want to make it blue because our theme is not blue so we will change it so let's first change the icon color so to add a color go to constraints in the colors you can see we have already defined all the colors so we'll use this t secondary color import it library okay now let's add constant align the code let's save it and you can see the icon color is changed now change the label color label text or the label style use the text style add a color and again we will use the secondary color let's save it and you can see the text color is changed now the border is left we will use the property which is called the focus focus border again use the outline input border and inside as a border side use the border side property make the width to 2.0 and change its color to t secondary color let's save it and you can see it has been applied you know the next thing that we want to learn is because we are going to use these text form fields and we already use these text form fields inside our login design and as in the dark color you can see it's not visible the text field is not visible so we cannot use the text field like this or we have to design it for the light and dark modes so we have already created and it's also not good practice to keep reusing this whole code again and again because we have already created two text fields in the login then we are going to create four to five text fields in the sign up that forget password and bunch of other places so it's not a good practice to repeating this input decoration style again and again so let's use this input decoration inside our themes go to utils and in the themes we have already created a theme and in the widget tree i have created a field which is text field theme dot dart 
and I have just copy and pasted whatever we have created over here inside our theme. But the first variable is the light input decoration theme with the secondary color, the one we designed for the light theme. And for the dark, I just change the color to primary color. The rest of the things are same. Just this is the secondary color, which is the dark, and this is the primary color. See, this is the primary one, this is the secondary color. So once this theme is created. If you are confused about the themes, I suggest you to please watch the theme tutorial we learned to create themes in the Flutter. As in the main road dart, you can see we have defined the theme and also the dark theme and we are using the theme mode and inside the theme road dart, we just have to call input decoration theme and we have to call the class name which is t text form field and with the static variable, we can simply pass light input decoration theme. The way we have created outline button, elevated button and text themes. Same for the dark mode, just inside the theme data call input decoration theme and pass the dark input decoration. Theme. Now we can go to sign up screen and we can remove the all code from here. Just inside the input decoration, we have to pass label. We will remove all the things, all the styles from there and in the decoration we just going to pass label as a text because we cannot pass the label inside the theme mode, right? So now let's save the code but we have to forward reload it again. So our application is running. It's in the dark mode. So this is the welcome screen. Let's click on the sign up. And you can see the full name is there but when we click on it we have a full name like this we are missing we forgot to add a prefix icon let's save it and you can see the icon is there with the text and this is the design for the dark mode now let's switch it to light mode and you can see in the light mode we have the dark text dark icon and dark border once the text form field is created so let's copy and paste it for the other text fields okay we just change the names and the icons and created four text fields, full name, email, phone number and password. Let's save it. And you can see we have four fields with the four different names. Now we have to add space. So we will use a sized box for the space as a height. We have T form height minus 20 because we want to use as a space as a 10. Let's copy this. Let's save the code and you can see the space has been applied. Now we need to create a button. Let's give a bit more space and create elevated button. Font press will be empty for now. As a child, let's create a text. Name it T sign up. Control Alt L to align. A constant. Let's save it. And you can see the button is created. And we know that if we want to make it full width inside the column, we have to wrap it either with the expanded or with the size box. So we will wrap it with a size box because expanded is not going to work in this case. And as a width, we will make it double dot infinity to cover the full width available. Let's save it. And you can see the button is now taking the full space. And also to make it uppercase next to the text, we will use dot to uppercase. Remove this constraint. Let's save it. So button has been created. So form has been completed. Let's close the form and also let's close this container. We can right click refactor and extract it as a flutter widget. Name it sign up form widget refactor. So class has been created over here. Let's cut it inside the sign up. Create a new directory widgets inside this. Create a new file sign up form widget dot dot import the material package. Paste the class import the missing libraries. So once the widget is created, let's close it and also the files. Let's import this library. Okay, it's important and you can see that uh, we have the header ready, we have a form ready. So now we have to create a footer, which is again, we can extract as a another widget. So before extracting, let's create it over here. Let's wrap it with a column. As a children, let's add text, which is saying or. And next we have to create a Google button. First, we will wrap it in the size box with the width of full double dot infinity. So it can cover the maximum space available. As a child of size box, we will create outline button and on press is null. We are not going to add a child, but we will convert this outline button with the icon. So you can say outline button dot icon. So we have a property icon. This is a widget. We can pass any widget. You can pass icons, but I have an image. So I will pass image. So to pass the image, I have an asset image, which is the Google logo. I have already declared. And then instead of a child, we have a label T Google 
sign in with Google. So as a label, we will use T sign in with Google as a text. Let's save it. And you can see the button is uh, sorry, the image is going outside the screen. So we have to limit it using a width. Width is 20.0. Let's save it. And you can see the button has been created. Now the last thing is a text button. So on press is null as a text. We will use T already have an account. Let's save it. And you can see already have an account is there, but we will use text dot rich control alt align and inside the text dot rich we can use text span text span has multiple children's so as a children we can use text span and as a text we have t already have an account the first one control d to duplicate and the second one is t login let's save the code and you can see we have two text the reason is that we can easily convert using a style property the first one is a body text one let's save it and you can see it's changed and also its properties are changed and also we forget to make it to uppercase so the second text span we will just make it dot to uppercase let's save it and you can see the design is ready so this is how basically this is also a scrollable design so if you want to scroll it so if it goes down so we don't have an issue and it's responsive from the right and left side. So basically this is how we create the designs in the Flutter and you can get all this code from the description below and you can also get the complete project from the coding with T. So if you learn something new, please like the video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe it because more amazing videos are coming. We will add the logic in the upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe this channel. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.